Good afternoon, and a special thank you to the Quincy Public Schools in particular, and all of our districts um, for what they do for our kids every day. Knowing that this virus is not going to go away for a while, we have created protocols endorsed by the medical community uh, on how to safely return to school. Throughout this crisis, our guiding principle has been doing what is best for kids. And even though school looks different this fall with masks, physical distancing, hand hygiene, and all the other protocols that we put in place for a safe reopening, we know what is best for our students is to get back into the routine of learning. As a state, the rates of transmission in Massachusetts right now are low. And according to the medical community, that means we can and indeed should bring our students back for in-person instruction safely. However, we rec also recognize that individual communities are experiencing different levels of transmission. That's why the administration began releasing a weekly report that provides an individual COVID-19 metric for each community of red, yellow, green, or gray. We've asked districts to really focus on using this data, along with other local health factors, as the basis for whether kids will attend school full-time in person, hybrid, or remote. Districts should be using at least three reports or four weeks of data to make these decisions. We know the possibility of a second spike exists, but while we are in a situation where a district has been green or gray for many weeks, we are asking districts to bring kids back to school in person or in a hybrid model. It would be unfortunate if later in the year a district had to go remote because the virus spiked back up in their community. And they recognize, wow, we could have had our kids back in for a couple of months, or maybe even six months, and we missed that window. Last week, the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education asked school districts to inform the department if they learned that a student or staff member has tested positive for COVID-19. While DESE will not play a formal role in tracking or monitoring cases at a local or statewide level, this information will allow the department to provide support to local officials and districts in consultation with public health authorities and to monitor statewide trends. Our goal is to help superintendents and school administrators navigate what to do when they experience positive cases of students or staff in accordance with the COVID-19 protocols we released in our guidance over the summer. We have much work ahead this year to support our students during this extraordinarily challenging school year. But with schools back open this month, we have taken the critical first step. And I want to thank the thousands of teachers, school administrators, support staff, and families across the Commonwealth who are making that possible. 